getting experience uh, without a job that's necessarily going to give you this, like the type of work that you're going to want reflected in your portfolio, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, so one thing is um, concept projects. Um, so I'm sure that you've heard about concept projects a lot. Mm -hmm. um, how you've heard of them, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is uh, choose a brand that you can see yourself working for or that like you really respect um, and find a problem that you see needs to be solved in their product. And make sure it's the type of thing that you actually won't mind doing, you know, the design on and that mm -hmm. you'll have fun, that you'll have fun with. Um, so like, whatever, like you just got the new PS5 and you hate the, how disconnected the mobile app is from the actual console or something. Maybe you have an idea of how to like improve something in the mobile app that solves an actual problem, right? I'm not saying just do a dribble exercise and redesign the UI. I'm saying like solve an actual problem. Um, so once you've uh, like, once you have an idea of what that problem is that you're gonna solve, you know, design it, like give it your best shot and then um, pull together like a little bit of like a place online or a PDF or however you wanna share it out and then go on LinkedIn and, and ping several people that actually work there. So designers, hiring, uh, like design managers, engineers, PMs, um, you might get like the most like engagement from like non-design roles, ironically. Um, and, and be like, hey, like I, I love the work that you guys are doing, for example, on the new PlayStation 5 release. Um, I really love what you did on it, um, but I had some ideas on how you can improve the mobile app. Uh, the, these are, I just pulled these together as a fan of your organization. Let me know if you if you have any thoughts around these mocks that I pulled together for you. You're not asking for them for a job, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're just like, hey, I love what you guys are doing. Like, what do you think of these mocks? And half the time, they're actually going to get back to you, and they'll probably review your mocks. And all you're doing is you're asking for feedback around those mocks. Now you implement the feedback that they give you, and you've got a case study. And it's a real case study because you actually got feedback mm -hmm. from Sony, from the engineers that worked on PS5. And now you can talk about how you're such a collaborative person that you got you did a concept project and you actually got feedback from Sony on it. And now you're positioned to get that flavor of job because you have that flavor of case study in your portfolio. Does that make sense? And I'm assuming they will be okay to for you to have like their, their stuff in, in your portfolio? Like, let's say it's not PlayStation. There's, like... a, there's nothing they can do about it. It's mm, just, it's your own volunteer concept work. Like they can't true. tell you, they can't tell you to take it, take it down. Um, so people do this all the time. Like, like I'd say half of dribble is just like these concepts, but like the, the point isn't to just like redesign the U, UI just to right. redesign the UI. You're actually trying to solve a problem. And then in the process of solving the problem, right? Like you actually provide something that people can, can, can give feedback to. And, and now you have a case study, right? That has real, like, here's where I started and here's where I ended after feedback. So that's one thing. The second thing is, I know you said that, you know, you're in a contract and it's wrapping up, but um, I would actually encourage you to keep on looking for more contracts mm -hmm. um, in addition to applying for jobs you want. So don't apply for full-time jobs just because you want a full-time job. Um, apply for the jobs that you actually want so that when it does work out, good for you, but focus more on contracts. And the reason that I'm saying focus more on contracts, because um, with contracts, the, the bar to get into a really interesting um, problem to solve and that will result in really good portfolio pieces tends to be a bit lower. So it's easier for like earlier designers to get into them. Whereas like for like job jobs, generally like a junior designer will be competing directly with mid-level and senior designers because that's more about just like where, where the salary is at. Yeah. So someone that's cool with the salary, like they might have more experience with you and you're competing directly with them. Um, so I would say that like, and you can like timestamp it, right? Like just be like, okay, I'm only gonna do this for like six more months or something like that. But mm -hmm. I would say like, go and network with as many recruiters as you can 
and just build relationships with them. Don't hit them up for jobs. They know why you're hitting them up, right? Mm -hmm. Like just try to build a relationship with them um, and uh, let them know what like your competencies are and just make sure that they have your portfolio handy and just be like, hey, like whatever gigs you got, like um, I'm, I'll take whatever odd jobs you have. And then as long as the logo is the type of logo that, or like the type of work is the type of work that you want, that you want to have in your portfolio. Um, like it doesn't matter if it's a two week project or a three month project, right? You just want to get the work in the portfolio. Whereas most, most designers will shy away from that. Like they'll be mm -hmm. like, Oh, it needs to be at least a six month contract or something like that. Right. So it, it but a lot of really interesting work, comes to recruiters and then they don't really know what to do with it because they're like what am i supposed to do with a two-week contract right but that's when you're going to raise your hand and be like i want that contract right because it's for sony and then number three is um where are you located again toronto toronto okay so like you're near a big city um or in the city i don't know if you're in the suburb or in the city proper but like you're gonna have a ton of local like small creative agencies um like you're probably gonna have at least two dozen right uh, so find the smaller ones, like you don't want, like, feel free to apply to the bigger ones, like to get the contracts, but I'm saying like, for, for like, I, I feel like the sweet spot is like the smaller up and coming agencies that are like three to five people big. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and the reason, the reason I call that the sweet spot is that that is when, um, there's enough people on staff to where like, there's a lot, like that's a lot of money just in overhead to, to keep all those people employed. Um, so, so they usually tend to overbid on projects and they, they, they're ten, they, they tend to be resource constrained on how many designers they have to actually mm. deliver on those projects. So they're always putting out fires. Um, so hit up those agencies and just like, again, raise your hand be like, hey, I'm Wilson, here's my portfolio. Uh, like I specialize in X, Y, Z. And um, if you guys have, if you guys ever need an auxiliary designer, I'm just letting you know that I'm here. Like I can work for a competitive rate uh, and I take, you know, odd jobs. So again, like you might just be brought in for like a week because they need some help working on a pitch deck for Samsung or something, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still gonna be really, really valuable experience for you because you're gonna rub shoulders with other creatives and you're gonna get to see how their leadership kind of like pulls things together like it's going to be great experience for you so those are those are the, the the three things i would do to you know start getting um experience quickly and filling up your portfolio so uh you know to summarize to summarize concept projects where you actually get feedback um hit up recruiters and build relationships with them for contracts and uh, network with local agencies and and um, let them know that you're available as an extra pair of hands.